Hello everyone and welcome to Machine Learning and Large Language Model Tutorials. In this tutorial, we explain how to install and run a quantized version of DeepSeq V3 or version 3 on a local computer by using the LAMA CPP approach. For those of you who are not familiar with DeepSeq, DeepSeq V3 is a powerful mixture of experts language model. On this figure, you can see some comparisons of DeepSeq with other popular large language models. These blue rectangles with a hatch represent the speed or the performance of DeepSeq V3. And over here, that is, these other rectangles represent other popular models such as GPT, Claude, Llama 3.1, 400B instruct, etc. As you can see from this graph, it seems that DeepSeq outperforms other models. However, you should always take these graphs with a grain of salt, since every software company that publishes large language models will always claim that their model outperforms any other model. However, you should test and compare the models by yourself. We will install and run a quantized version of DeepSeq V3 on a local computer. And here are the prerequisites. First of all, if you want to install and run under quotes smaller model, you will need under quotes only 200 gigabytes of disk space. However, if you want to play with a larger model, then you will need 400 gigabytes of disk space. When I say a smaller or a larger model, I mean that if a model is smaller, this means that it's heavily quantized. That is, if the model is larger, then the model is less quantized. In fact, behind the scene, you have the same model that is compressed either significantly or less significantly. Then you will need a significant amount of RAM memory. In our case, we have 48 gigabyte of RAM memory and the model inference is relatively slow. Probably the inference speed can be improved by adding more RAM memory. However, while running tests, we also notice that GPU resources are not fully exploited. And here is the issue with the GPU. You will need a decent GPU. We perform tests on NVIDIA 3090 GPU with 24 gigabyte VRAM. Better GPU will definitely increase the inference speeds. After some tests, we realized that the GPU resources are not used fully. And this might be the issue that in this tutorial, we are simply downloading the binary files of llama.cpp. Namely, Llama CPP is a framework that's used to run quantized models. And this can be improved by building the Llama CPP from the source. This will be explored in the future tutorials. Okay, let's start with explanations on how to install and run this powerful model. First of all, you need to download and install llama.cpp. In order to be able to run llama.cpp, you need to have at least two things. First of all, you need to have C++ compiler and then you need to have the CUDA compiler. In order to install the C++ compiler, you need to go to this official Microsoft website and then you need to download Microsoft Visual Studio. You can click on Community Edition over here and after clicking the download process will start then you need to start the downloaded file and Microsoft Visual Studio C++ with compilers will be automatically installed. So this is the first step. I will provide this link in the description below. The second thing that you need to install is the CUDA toolkit such that you can use C++ with your GPU. To do that, go to this official NVIDIA web page or simply search for CUDA toolkit, click on download now, search for your operating system architecture, search for your operating system and over here you can click on this file and the download process will start. After the file is downloaded, you can run the file and CUDA toolkit will be installed. After CUDA toolkit is installed, you need to verify the installation. To do that, you can simply go in the command prompt 
and you need to type this command nvcc dash dash version and if everything went well you should see the version of your CUDA compiler. Good. The next step is to download and install llama.cpp. To do that, search for llama cpp and then immediately at the top you should see this official github page. Open it. Then over here, scroll all the way down and find the section building the project. Then click over here, download pre-built binaries from releases. And over here, scroll down, find the assets. And since I'm on the Windows machine, I'm going to download this zip file. So I will click here and I will save it in the downloads folder. Here it is. Then I will go to the downloads folder and I'm going to extract this file over here. Click on the extract and the extract process will start. It's going to take around 5 to 10 seconds to extract everything. OK, next, let's click on this extracted folder and let's copy all the files by selecting them by pressing Ctrl A, then Ctrl C, then go to your C drive and create a new folder. I'm going to call this folder as test12. And I'm going to paste all the files over here by pressing Ctrl V. And here they are. OK. The next step is to download the DeepSeq GGUF files. For that purpose, you need to go to this Hugging Face repository. And I will provide the link in the description below this video. Over here, you have several options. And you can see the size that you need on your disk. For illustration purposes, I'm going to start with this smallest model. So I'm going to click over here and here are all the files. Now, there are several ways to download all the files. You can write a Python script for downloading all the files at the same time. However, for simplicity, I will manually download the files since we only have the five files over here. However, it's going to take a while to download these files, so let's be patient. So first of all, let's download this file and let's make sure that we save this file in the folder we just created. That is in the folder in which we have copied and pasted, actually which, in which we were copied our llama files. Okay, so let's save this first file and now here you can see that it's going to take a while to download this file. I can at the same time start the download process of the second file. Make sure that you save it over here. Let's do the third one. Save it over here. Let's do the fourth one. Let's save it in the same folder. And let's do the fifth one over here. OK, now all the files are downloaded at the same time. And you can see the progress over here. It's going to take around 15 minutes or maybe an hour to download everything, depending on how fast is your internet connection and how busy is the Hugging Face website. So let's be patient. After approximately one hour, the model files are downloaded. And here they are. They're in the test folder. There are five files over here. The next step is to explain how to run the inference. To do that, start the command prompt and search for command prompt. Next, let's navigate to the folder. And here we are. To run the inference, we need to execute this command. Everything over here should be in a single row. So let's first of all call llama CLI, then let's specify the model file. Over here, I'm specifying the name of the first file. Namely, I'm specifying the name of this file over here. And make sure that you correctly type this name. 
should be 0, 0, 0, 001. Next, we need to specify the cache type. Okay, let me expand this so you can see it better. Then, we need to specify the number of threads. And finally, we need to specify the prompt. Over here, the prompt should be formatted like this. You need to define the user and assistant. And over here, you can pose the question. I will pose a simple question, how to solve a quadratic equation. So let me copy this and I'll paste it over here. Now, when I press enter, it's going to take some time for the model to be loaded. And in my case, the system will freeze for about five to 10 seconds while the model is lo loading. Namely, if you analyze the consumption of your computer resources, you will see that initially this consumption will be 100% as well as the CPU and memory. Later on, once the model is loaded, you will see that the memory is being consumed and the GPU as well as the CPU resources are being consumed. Now I will press enter and then I will stop recording until the model is lo loaded and until I can show you how the inference is happening in real time. And after some time, you can see over here that the response is being generated and you can see the speed of response, which is not great. And this speed can be improved by selecting probably different parameters or by optimizing llama.cpp. Okay, that's all for today and thanks for watching.